What's up everyone, this is Cybernut, and today we have some Yu-Gi-Oh news for you guys. It looks like the Battle of Legends Lights Revenge uh, card list has been revealed, or evidently it was leaked online, and uh, then Zodiac had the full list, Zodiac Duel List on Facebook, and then afterwards, I got this list actually from uh, Italian Yu-Gi-Oh, evidently they posted it on their page, so that's where I got this list from. And uh, it's supposed to be the real list, but a few things are kind of weird about this list too that I know some people are wondering about. I believe it is the confirmed list, but also if something changes on this at all, I'll uh, let you guys know. I'll make another video on it. But it does seem like this is the actual legit list. It just seems like a really crazy set, really, because, I mean, just about everything you think of is getting reprinted. So it's pretty interesting. First off, too, in case you guys have forgotten, this set is going to be released on July 7th. So it's, uh, I guess, uh, eight days away, a little over a week. And uh, let's just go through this card list. Everything is uh, Seeker and Ultra in this set. So I'm just going to uh, just read through all of them, honestly, because there's so many good reprints. I think that's pretty much the best way to go about this. So here we go. For our Seeker Rares, we have them all listed here. There are 20 Seeker Rares in the set. So we have Artifact Sanctum. You guys knew about that. A Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. Denko Seca. So that is actually a really good reprint. It was a Mega Ten, but still good. A Destiny Hero Dustopia. We know about that because of the pack. Double Evolution Pill, that was in, of course, the uh, the Collector's Pack, so obvious on that one. Same with Glider Beats, we have Noxus and a Tamer Editor, so both of those. A Mermel Abyssius, so yeah, a Mermel's actually in this. A Minerva, already knew about that, Exalted Light Sworn. M X Saber Invoker, another interesting one. Odd Eyes Venom Dragon, again, obvious. Before my pal Odd Eyes Synchron. A Scythe Frame Lord Omega, already made a video about that, still happy about that reprint. Sage with Eyes of Blue. I thought that was kind of interesting uh, because I was kind of wondering if it could be thrown into the Megatons because they're based off Kaiba and Yuki for the Megatons. And yeah, it looks like Sage with Eyes of Blue is getting reprinted in this set instead. So that definitely needed one. Uh, the Phantom Knights of Breaksword. Now that's the one I'm really happy about too. Since Omega was getting reprinted, I was really hoping Breaksword would get the same treatment. Both definitely needed some reprints. Uh, Time Maiden. Trishula, Dragon Ice Bear. Already talked about that. Uh, Vision Hero, uh, Witch Raider. And that's another one uh, that was from the Collector's Pack, so not too surprising on that. And same with White Aura Dolphin and White Aura Whale. Those are the new Synchro Monsters that are in the Collector's Pack, so of course we're getting them in this too. So again, nothing too surprising on that. For the Ultra Rares, we have like 60 of them, so I might kind of skim through a few of these. But anyway, let's see. First off, we have a couple of Abyss Actors. Let's see, Curtain Razor, uh, Abyss Tainment. We also have Anti-Spell Fragrance. You guys knew about that because that was actually posted on Konami's blog. Uh, let's see, Archfiend Zombie Skull. That's interesting. Bujinte Tsukiyomi. Cactus Bouncer, another interesting one. Celestial Lightsworn Angel. Yeah, there's actually some uh, Lightsworn reprints in this too. I guess it makes sense with Minerva. A Crusader of Indominion. That's an older Gemini monster. It's kind of been forgotten too, so that's cool. We're also getting both the DDD monsters, which are, you know, the, of course, the uh, Exceed Pendulum and the Synchro. Pendulum. They're both in the collector's pack. So yeah, basically we're getting both those. So that's cool. Uh, Destiny Hero Dreamer. Different Dimension Ground. That was another one that we heard about from the blog. A uh, Dragoonie Knight Gay Dirt. So yeah, I actually got that from the Star Strike Blast opening. So that's what's kind of interesting that that would actually be part of this. But it is a pricier card, an older card that didn't need a reprint. So that's kind of cool. We also have Elemental Hero Nova Master. Same with that. You know, it's always a card that's held its value. Of course, being a good Elemental Hero and it's getting reprinted, so another one's pretty interesting. Evil Storm Exciton Knight. Yeah, that is actually banned for us right now, so a lot of people are wondering, could that mean it could come off the ban list? I don't know. I mean, it kind of makes you wonder in that, but it's an interesting one to get reprinted. Then we have Felice Lightsworn Archer, another good one to get reprinted. Guy Dragon, the Thunder Charger, always good. Galaxy Soldier. Now that is one that definitely needed a reprint. Like seriously, Galaxy Soldier was really pricey. Only really expensive card from uh, Superstar, so that's good. Garoth, Light Sworn Warriors, so again, Light Sworns. Uh, let's see, Giant Rex, Collector's Pack, uh, Gladiator Beast, uh, uh, Edda Bate. I, I still know how you say that, honestly. That's the other Gladiator Beast, though. The new Gladiator Beast, that was also confirmed in the blog post. Yeah, I, I think I mispronounce his name every time, but that it's going to be in this, too. Then, of course, we have a, an Infernoid reprint. That one's pretty good. I, I don't know how to pronounce its name, so I'm just going to, yeah. <laughs> there you go. You guys can see it for yourself. Uh, but they, that was uh, a pricier Infernoid card, so that's good. Into the Void as well. Uh, Judgment Dragon, again, same thing. Uh, uh, Jurassic Impact, that was another card from Collector's Pack. And then, of course, you have some of your Time Lords. Uh, uh, coming on, uh, Lazy on. We also have Lumina that's thrown in there, Lila, so a couple more Light Swords. Miracle Contact, that's an older card too, that's pretty good because Neos. So that's kind of interesting, uh, finally getting a reprint, so that's always held its value anyway. Neo Gas, he has Photon Dragon, number 107 even, and even number 11 and number 62. So a lot of number monsters that were, again, kind of pricey in their own sets even nowadays, even though some of them have actually been reprinted, are uh, getting reprinted again because they've always held their value. So I guess I'll make it even easier to get them. Odd Eyes Lancer Dragon, and that's Collector's Pack. Same with Forma Pal uh, 5 Rainbow Magician, Forma Pal Odd Eyes Dissolver, um, Minotaurus, 
And then we have Raiden, Hand of Light Sworn. So, Light Sworns. Raid Raptor, uh, Final Fortress Falcon. Now, this one's pretty cool. That's the new XC monster. And, uh, of course, the collector's pack. So, it's cool to see reprint on that one, which, again, that's not surprising. Four Strix. I know you guys were saying that when I was talking about Omega. So, that is definitely a good reprint in that, too. A uh, Rudder Strix. Satellite Cannon Falcon. That is another one, too, that actually need a reprint. I think it was uh, $10 something I don't know I hadn't really kept up with it in a while so uh, I know there for a while it, it always held its value so that's a good reprint either way as any another one of the time lords uh, solar recharge again more with you know more of those uh, light sworn reprints uh, let's see we have space time transcendence spellbook magician of privacy yes this card was actually kind of pricey too I think last time I checked it was like a $20 card something like that return of the duelist is the set it was in um, so maybe that means more spellbooks in the future I know we at least got I think one new card for them of course like that destiny draw card which I guess we're gonna get pretty quickly but uh, makes me wonder if there could be something else good reprint though either way a uh, spellbook of secrets same with that super samurai fist and helper and of course a uh, steam train king those are all from the collector's pack so again that's pretty much what we expected. Transmodify, another card that's still kind of pricey, and it's one that people are wondering about with Link Summoning, so that's a good reprint. A Twilight Ninja, Jowgen, and uh, Kagan, again, I believe those are both from Collector's Pack, so nothing crazy there. Vanity's Fiend, that's kind of surprising. That's cool, getting an ultra rare version of it. That's always been a really pricey rare card, like even in uh, Cyberdark Impact, usually it was around $10, like, and it was a rare card in that set. So actually getting one like this would be pretty cool. Uh, Vision Hero Adoration, that was a uh, Vision Hero that was kind of going up in price at least, so it's the fusion that was a secret rare in uh, Generation Force, that's a set. Uh, White Moray, we have Witch of Black Force that probably has the new effect and everything too, the errata. Uh, Wolf, Light Storm Beast, and Zafion, the Time Lord. So yeah, that is the card list. I thought I would just read through it because seriously, everything is notable on this list. Like, basically everything's a good reprint. I don't know what else to say. And of course, uh, some of the new cards from the collector's pack, like we obviously knew that were just going to be thrown into this too, except for the number monsters. I'm a little sad about that. I know we were getting some of the number monsters though in the Mega 10, so at least we're getting them there. But I still think we're missing, what, number 29, which is the cat, like the cat girl looking one that was a common in collector's pack. And, um... I don't remember what number it was, but like the Ultra that was in the Collector's Pack. I don't think that was in our Megatons, but we we're getting the other ones. So maybe that means the other uh, numbers will get them somehow uh, quickly. I hope so, because I want to get all of them from my numbers collection. And other than that, I mean, I can't think of any... Oh, yeah, I, I do want still the Rival cards. We don't have the Rival Pack cards yet, which is like the, the Synchro for Red Dragon Archfiend. I forget its name. It's like a mini version of Red Dragon Archfiend. Then there was, of course, uh, we already know we're going to get... Uh, Galaxy Ass Cypher Blade Dragon, which was another one from the Rivals pack, so maybe that's hinting at something too. We know we're getting that from Weekly Shonen Jump, but there was also like an Abyss Actor and um, a Destiny Hero too. So hopefully we'll get those at some point, because it was like a new card for, for of course, Astral and all those, like the Rivals throughout the Yu-Gi-Oh! series. So I thought it was cool they actually made those cards, but we still don't have them in TCG. So hopefully, again, that will be another thing that will get announced. But other than that, honestly, this list is pretty awesome. I mean, uh, just just hearing about Omega, which we knew about, Break Sword, Sage of Eyes of Blue, I mean, you know, and of course Minerva and all that too, I, it's just about everything's good. I can't really think of anything I'd be upset about getting from this set because the new cards are good and the reprints are amazing too. I just think it's funny though that they have to reprint Invoker and, uh, where is it, Trishula, I, I can't find it on the list real quick, there we are, Trishula, uh, and they've just been reprinting Dual Saga. And you're reprinting them again, which of course is like I said. I mean, they didn't reprint them well in Dula Saga, they made them still tough to get. So I feel like they're already having to fix that. So, I, you know, they would have just done it the right way the first time, wouldn't have to do it again. And, uh, but yeah, that's just a, a rant for another day, really. But at least maybe these will be easier to get for people. And I'm hoping that they do this set right. And do it like they did the previous one, like uh, Pendulum Evolution. Make it so people can get these cards and enjoy them. You know, let, let's not do the whole game of one Minerva per case or whatever, which I'm still afraid they're going to do. But I'm hoping that, uh, yeah, maybe it'll be a little bit different. I'm hoping, too, I can get a bunch of Crystal Wings from this set. So... Yeah, just let me know what you guys think about it, if you like this list or not, and uh, what cards you kind of sad were left out. For me, it's just really the number cards I'm kind of upset about. But other than that, I mean, it's hard to complain about anything with these uh, reprints. I mean, seriously, a lot of cards got reprinted in this that definitely needed it. So I'm happy about that, and uh, can't wait to see what you guys are going to think about this list. So let me know, of course, in the comments below. Of course, I will have a link to this in the description. And also, like I said, this started out on Zodiac Duelist, and then I got this actual list, though, from Italian Yu-Gi-Oh! So, there could be some things kind of weird, 
but I do believe this is the real list. So we're just gonna go on ahead and assume that. And of course, if for some reason something changes on that, I'll let you guys know in another video. But I mean, I wouldn't make a video about this if I didn't think it was real. So um, yeah, again, tell me what you guys think. Be sure to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! news. As soon as this set is out, you guys know I will definitely have more than one opening of it. And of course I will catch you guys later. See ya.